Hello guys, welcome back to another super fast Premiere Pro tutorial. Today, let's find out about Premiere Pro video rendering. When we're about to add effects to our clip, it's often impossible to play your video in real time. Now look at this, on top of the timeline we can find a color label. When it's yellow, it means Premiere Pro is able to play back your video in real time. Red means Premiere can't play it back in real time. So we have to render this footage. After we done that indicator will turn green. Let's render our video. Go over to menu and select sequence. Here you can see multiple ways to render your clips. But how do we know which one to choose? Well, render effect in and out. Or just pressing the return key is a way to render all the clips with red labels. Sometimes this could take a while. If you have trouble playing back the yellow labeled clips, you could also choose from the sequence menu, render in and out. When you don't have a selection in your timeline premiere, or just simply render everything. If you want to render just the selected clip in your timeline, highlight your clip and head over to menu and select sequence. Then select render selection. Then premiere will render that highlighted clip Rendering audio is also possible from this menu, which could be useful when you're working with audio effects. Now, if there's some kind of a bug or a problem with the rendering that you've made, you can always click on Delete Render Files and Render Again. If you have any other question, then let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.